Hey guys, it's Pope. Welcome back to my vlog and my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am a Olympic weightlifter. I'm also a sports nutrition coach and a weightlifting coach now. I am new to coaching and going into the coaching world and seeing like the different side of weightlifting now, it's giving me some great ideas for content for the channel. And this week's vlog is inspired actually by my lifters having a hard time understanding the different pulling techniques. So today I'm going to break down three of the most common pulling techniques I use for my own training and for my weightlifters training and their programming. And I'm excited for this vlog because I think it's going to be super helpful for you guys. The three movements I'm going to be breaking down today are the snatch or clean pull, the snatch or clean deadlift, and the snatch or clean RDL. So I'm just going to focus on uh, saying snatch grip for these and know that they are applicable to the clean grip as well. They're the same movements just with different grip. One is done with your exact same grip you would use for a full snatch or the grip you would use for your cleans. The first movement I'm going to focus on is what I just called the pull. Now this can be a snatch or a clean pull and there are hundreds of different variations of pulls that coaches teach out there and I'm going to talk about the one that I've used the most in my training and that I think is the most helpful. So when I refer to a pull, that's going to be the entire movement from the starting position all the way through the top of the extension. So we're talking about the pull all the way until the point you would start to pull under the barbell. This movement is basically going to mimic the either full snatch or a full clean. You're going to start in your setup exactly the same as you would for the full movement. You're going to push through the floor with your legs and your back in unison and get into the power position and extend at the top up onto your toes. A common flaw that I've seen is changing the head position. You wanna make sure your starting position looks exactly like it does for a snatch or a clean, which includes getting that focal point. So eyes forward if that's how you start your snatch. Some people do start with their head down, but majority of weightlifters out there have a focal point straight forward. So you wanna keep that throughout the movement. Another common technique flaw on a pull is hunching your shoulders forward or rolling them forward at the top of the pull, which you would never do on a snatch or a clean. So at the top of the extension, when you lift up onto your toes and do your shrug, make sure your chest is staying completely upright like there's a string being pulled from the top of your head. You don't want that chest to drop forward. You're pulling the bar up through that vertical extension, not dropping your chest down towards the bar. As far as tempo on these pulls, you wanna be doing these as quickly as possible. You're gonna be using heavy percentages, so they might be pretty tough, but you still wanna move through this as quickly as possible, just like you would be doing on an actual snatch or an actual clean. You're not gonna do these super slow when you're doing the full movement. You wanna be training your muscles to be quick. You are pretty much going to see this style of pull in any weightlifting program. And you could also add different variations. You can do them from the deficit. You can work on holding the top of the extension. There's tons of different ways you could elaborate on the pull, but you're definitely gonna see these at some point if you're doing weightlifting. Moving on to the next exercise is the snatch or clean deadlift. And this is also referred to as a halting deadlift. So I'm gonna call it that for the halting deadlift, you are going to start in your setup position just like you would in the pull or in your full movement of the snatch or clean. But instead of finishing the full extension, you're going to pause or halt before you would get into the power position. So you're not going to let your knees swoop under and get into that jumping position on this. You're going to keep your shoulders over the bar. And that's what's going to make it different than a regular deadlift. Your hips are not gonna come through. They're gonna stay a bit closed at the finishing position of this pull. What makes this exercise so great is it's really strengthening the muscles and giving you the muscle memory to keep your shoulders over the bar during the pull. Some keys for the halting deadlift is you wanna make sure you're pushing through your legs throughout the entire movement. So at the top, your legs are gonna be fully extended even though your hips are not extended. And you also want to work on keeping your lats flexed and engaged the entire time. That's gonna help train those muscles, keep the bar sweeping back during the pull. In the halting deadlift, we do wanna see a slight pause at the top. So you're really squeezing those legs, squeezing those lats and upper back nice and tight at the top. So you're getting that strength training as well as training the proper movement pattern. This exercise was one of the biggest difference makers for me 
when my snatch ended up improving a whole bunch going from like 80 to 90 kilos the snatch halting deadlift was such a big player for me so i always use this in my training and i'm always programming it as well the last movement we're going to talk about today is the rdl again you can do this in either the snatch or a clean grip the rdl is often really confused with stiff legged deadlift that is not what we're doing here stiff legged deadlift has a time and place but i don't think it is a big player in weightlifting training but we do need strong hamstrings so we're going to work on the romanian deadlift now for an rdl i like to pick up the barbell all the way stand up nice and straight now you're going to do a slight bend in the knee and i like to keep that slight bend in the knee throughout the entire movement so i'm not locking out my knees at any point during this and you're going to tip forward and get your shoulders over the barbell slide the bar all the way down a little bit below the knee and let the hips drop back just a little bit nice tight back the whole time and then use your glutes and hamstrings to stand back up some common mistakes on the rdl would be letting your head drop you want to keep that forward focus the entire time and also it's really easy to let your back round especially your upper back you really have to focus on keeping that back squeezed scaps retracted so you're going to be training your lats to be super tight throughout this entire set, really. They're not going to loosen at all. you got to keep them tight, and that'll help again with that sweeping back movement on your pull for a snatch or a clean. As far as tempo goes on the RDL, I like to do the descent pretty slow and really feel my hamstrings taking on that load. And then I try to stand up pretty quick using the glutes to sweep those hips under. In addition to strengthening those muscles, you need to be able to hold the bar with your shoulders over the bar during the pull. This is also going to help your squat training, learning to pull those hips through at the top of the squat. That's uh, kind of my sticking point in my squat. I can get above parallel on my squats and still miss them sometimes because of those hips pulling through being a bit weak. So I love to use RDLs in my training for that as well. Those are the big three pulling exercises that have been the most helpful for my weightlifting training and the ones that I like to use with my athletes the most. So I hope breaking those down was helpful for you guys. And when you see those come up in your workouts, now you can know the difference in the variations of pulling styles. If you did find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to receive email updates when I post a new vlog, be sure to turn on your notifications. I'm going to be competing in Daytona at the American Open Series 3 here in a couple weeks. I hope I will get to meet some of you guys at that competition if you will be there. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.